All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is Sports Dom coming back with another video. And this is my Detroit Red Wings at Buffalo Sabres post game recap. And the Buffalo Sabres get the win. They are now 4 4 and 1. Uh, the Detroit Red Wings fall to 4 and 4. They said that the Buffalo Sabres are in second place in the Atlantic Division. Two points behind the Florida Panthers, who they have already defeated once this year, and who they play on Monday. So that'll be a battle for first place in the Atlantic Division. Goals. Uh, Detroit 3, Buffalo 5. Shots. Red Wings 25, Sabres 39. Block shots. Uh, Detroit Red Wings 17, Buffalo Sabres 15 hits. Detroit 12, Buffalo 14. Faceoffs, uh, Red Wings 49, Sabres 24. Power play goals, uh, Detroit Red Wings 0, Buffalo 1. They got a power play goal. Uh, penalty minutes, Detroit 8, Buffalo 4. Scoring. In the first period at 4.04, it was Buffalo's Jason Zucker, his first of the season on the power play. Assisted by Tage Thompson, his fourth, and Rasmus Dahlin, his third. And it's 1 0 Buffalo. And then at 12 minutes, it was Buffalo's Tage Thompson, his sixth of the season. Assisted by John Jason Paterka, his third. Rasmus Dahlin, his second of the game, his fourth of the season. And it's 2 nothing Buffalo Sabres. And at 14.43, it was Detroit's Alex Debrinket, his fourth of the season, assisted by Moritz Seider, his third, and Lucas Raymond, his seventh. And after one, it's 2-1, good guys. And then in the second period, at 3.20, it was Buffalo's Tage Thompson, his second of the game, his seventh of the season, assisted by Rasmus Dahlin, his third of the game, his fifth of the season. And it's 3-1 to one Buffalo. But then, uh-oh. At 3.51, it was um, Detroit's um, Michael Rasmussen, his second of the season, assisted by Moritz Seider, his second of the game, and his fourth of the season, and Edvinson, his third. And just like that, it's 3-2. to two. But then, uh-oh. At 11.02, it was Detroit's Lucas Raymond, his first of the season, Short-handed, unassisted, and just like that. It's a 3-3 hockey game. And then at 15-54, it was Buffalo's Bowen Byram. His first of the season, assisted by Owen Power, his fifth, and Dylan Cousins, his third. And after two, it's 4-3 good guys. And then in the third period at 19-12, it was Buffalo's Jack Quinn in the empty net. His first of the season, unassisted, 5-3. to three. The Buffalo Sabres get a win over division rival Detroit Red Wings. Penalties in the first period at 2.38, it was Detroit's Marco Casper. Two minutes for hooking. And then at 15.11, it was Detroit's Jonathan Berggren. Two minutes for hooking. Uh, and then in the second period at 9.38, it was... Uh, Former Buffalo Sabre Detroit's J.T. Comper, two minutes for cross-checking. And then at 18.53, it was Buffalo's Dylan Cousins, two minutes for slashing. In the third period, at 8.35, it was Buffalo's Sam Lafferty, two minutes for hooking. And then at 11.29, it was Detroit's Dylan Larkin, two minutes for tripping. So, uh, the Buffalo Sabres get the win. Uh, they get... They win three in a row. They beat Chicago, Dallas, and now Detroit. Uh, and they are in second place in the Atlantic Division with a battle for first coming up on Monday when we host the Florida Panthers, who we beat on the October the 12th. Um, so, Uko Pekka uh made tw uh, 22 saves. Has a .880 save percentage, and he played 60 minutes. Um, Alex Lyon played for Detroit. He stopped 
Um, 33 shots, has a .895 save percentage. He played 58 minutes and 40 seconds. So he has a better save percentage than Ukopeka Lukanen, who is at .880 uh, in this game anyway. Uh, but the Buffalo Sabres get the win, and it's likely on Monday that Ukopeka Lukanen will go again. Um, because he's winning. It was Devin Levi who beat Florida, though. I don't know if Uko Pekka Lukanen, uh, I don't know if I could trust Uko Pekka Lukanen, uh, against a team like Florida. I would go Devin Levi because he's already beat them, okay? Uh, and Devin Levi could, uh, could beat them again, but, you know, Uko Pekka Lukanen, he's winning. Uh, the team's, you know, finally playing ar around him. Lindy Ruff uh, has got them playing now. They're back to 500. They're 4-4-1. Four, four, they got nine points on the season. Uh, like I said, just two behind Florida, who has 11 points. And we have a victory over them uh, and a tiebreaker over them. If we beat them Monday... And get and we can jump over them and take the division because if they remain two points ahead of us and we beat them, we'd be tied. But we'll have beaten them twice and own the tiebreaker. So, uh, you know that that would be good. I mean, it, it's going to be tough to beat them twice uh, because they're going to want to beat us because we beat them the first time and we beat them in our building and they're coming back to our building. So, uh, but it's nice, you know, to be up here in the division instead of down here like we always are. So, Lindy Ruff is turning them around. You know, Florida, it, it's going to be a tough, tough game. But uh, I do think that, uh, that they can beat them again. You know, I think the offense is starting to get going. Uh Jack Quinn got his first goal. If we could get Dylan Cousins going and Alex Tuck and Jordan Greenway and guys like them, um, you know, it would be uh, uh, it would be nice. And Bowen Byram uh, scored his first goal of the season uh, in this game. So his first of the season. Uh, who I, I wanted to see, you know, score a goal. Um, and it was nice to see Jack Quinn get one. Yes, it was an empty netter, but he got one. Uh, and what an opponent to do it against the Detroit Red Wings. You know, that's a division foe, too. Uh, but, like I said, Monday, we will play home against the Florida Panthers. Then on Friday, we're home against the New York Islanders. And then back at it with Detroit. At Detroit on Saturday. Uh, so, hopefully, when we go when we host the Islanders, hopefully we're sitting in first place in the Atlantic Division. But, I mean, even second place. It's nice to be up there, you know, with the top enchilat uh, in our division instead of always being down here. Um... But this, this is a small sample size, you know, of what the impact that Lindy Ruff is having uh, on this team. My uh, player of the game for this game is Tage Thompson. Um, my honorable mention in this game uh, is Uko Pekka Lukanen. And um, they wore the, the black and red, the goat heads. And they got the win in those jerseys. So, guys, comment in the comment section below on what you think. And as always, if you like my videos, like, subscribe, and hit that bell notification so you don't miss a video. Stay tuned for my Michigan State Spartans at Michigan Wolverines preview. And, of course, my Sacramento Kings at Los Angeles Lakers preview. Uh, both games are tonight. You know, and they're both big games uh, for both for both teams. More, more so, Michigan State. Both teams are four and three. 
Uh, I think Michigan's coming off with two straight losses, you know. Um, and they're going to want to win. They're at home. But, you know, the, the Spartans are coming off of a win against a good Iowa team uh, and that good defense. So should be a fun one, should be a good one. But, guys, comment, like, subscribe. Go Sabres. And let's uh, let's remain in first. Let's get first place in the Atlantic Division. And let's beat the Florida Panthers on Monday. Go good guys. Go Sabres.